The other day I was contacted by Mega Cat Studios and asked if I would review a new Genesis game they made. Wait, they're still making Genesis games? I said hell yeah and they sent me a copy of Coffee Crisis. How cool is it that you can have people making Genesis games in 2017? First, let's look at the game itself. The case is spot on and it really feels like a Sega Genesis game. You do get an actual manual, which is really cool and chock full of really interesting information, and a real game cart. Here's my first of two complaints. Why is the cart bright pink? I get you want your game to stand out, but Genesis carts have always traditionally been black. It just looks strange to me. Okay, enough of this staring at the game crap. Let's get to some gameplay. Holy shit, just listen to that music. Graphics and sound are great on this game. For my money, the Genesis does rock and metal better than the SNES ever could. The game itself is a beat em up style, which is one of my favorite genres to play. You portray a barista from Black Forge Coffee, based out of Pittsburgh, PA, who realizes that aliens have invaded the Earth and are trying to take control of all musicians. You have to fight your way to a skinny Chesney concert, then to a coffee factory, then to the alien homeworld, all the while beating the crap out of aliens and people under their control. Overall, I found the controls to be pretty solid. You move across the screen quickly, but I never felt like my character was out of control. Like most beat-em-ups, you have a regular attack, a grapple for smaller enemies, a super that takes your health away, a charge shot, and a jump kick. You can also find weapons along the way, but I never found them particularly powerful. Much like most beat-em-ups, you usually find yourself hopelessly outnumbered and you have to manage dealing with multiple enemies at one time. Here's where I ran into my second major problem with the game. This is more of a personal style issue, but when it comes to beat-em-ups, I love the stun style of gameplay. Take Double Dragon for example. I can run in, spam a few attacks, hit the enemy, stun them, and then wail on them a little bit. This game does not have that at all, and I often would find myself getting my ass kicked if I tried to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with an enemy. I found this game is much more of a stick-and-move style of game, uh, and to me, that's a little bit of a tedious play style. Look at this example here. My only recourse to surviving this is to just spam jump attacks over and over and over again. Some people prefer this style of gameplay, I personally don't find it fun at all. In between some levels, there's a bonus chance where you have to drink coffee as fast as you can. This makes my stomach hurt just watching it. I never really figured out a good strategy for it other than to just spam buttons as fast as I possibly can. It's a unique bonus game and a fun break in the action. One of my favorite fights in the game is the second to last boss. He does this cool thing where he punches into the ground and some thing comes up to hit you. It's just really fun and it creates a really good strategy point because you just wait for him to do that and then you can run in and get a few hits. In the end, you fight what I think is the overlord of the aliens, which looks like a giant wall of puke, kick its ass, and you go home to a rock concert. Short, concise, and very much Sega Genesis. And there you have it. In conclusion, this is a great game and one I would highly recommend purchasing. It's not perfect in my opinion, but it's certainly really fun and a revelation to experience something brand new on a classic gaming console. The game is funny, it doesn't take itself very seriously, and it also has turd references, which is one of my favorite subjects to talk about in video games. I think it's really fun and again, you should definitely think about picking this up if you're a collector or someone who just happens to own a Sega Genesis. 
Thanks for watching Retro Safari's Coffee Crisis Review. If you have any comments, leave them below. And again, thanks for watching.